everybody it's been a few days since i've done an update i hope you guys have had a, a, a good christmas happy holidays to everybody um i just wanted to come on here again um just to remind you guys how important it is to to value the things that don't really cost money but cost effort and time because I was just thinking about it, you know, a, a lot of uh, countries in the past that have practiced socialism or communism, you know, is, in history it shows how some of the pe people that were better, that were able to, able to better uh, get through it with more luxuries or with more leisure time or just more activities in a system like that, were people that had a lot of connections, people... Uh, with friends, uh, people with certain uh, uh, friends that had certain uh, skills like doctors and mechanics and, and uh, bankers and things like that where they could uh, possibly barter without having to use cash um, because again, uh, your time is something that they really, um, outside of your normal job or whatever in these socialist communist systems, they really can't... Um, control what you do at home and the way you, you trade uh, uh, favors and, and for example some people might have friends that if you lived in France in the past and had friends that lived on the coast well I mean now you have a possibly a nice vacation to go to on the coast you know with your friends and vice versa they can come to you in the inland part of uh, the country well I think it's the same for America in today's in today's age I think that um that people with more friends, with friends with specific resources or assets or skills are going to benefit um, uh, people in this uh, economic uh, recession slash depression slash just a overall um, downgrading in our, in our lifestyle because of our competitiveness around the world due to our major debts and uh, our infrastructure and our intellectual uh, abilities being uh, limited and uh, now other countries comp competing with us in these uh, areas so it's life is a little bit more competitive and so we'll see a reduction in lifestyle i've uh, i've i've read um, from the channel bear boom bull west um I, I heard that he was talking about how home builders are adjusting the, the building uh, process by um, using cheaper materials, smaller lots, uh, less amenities, all kinds of stuff to basically reduce uh, the cost because the millennials uh, and young people just can't afford the cost of these homes. Um, and I, so I, it shows you how uh, we're going into this uh, area of uh, lower standards. And, um, and this is basically uh, part of, uh, part of um, you know, our real reality, realistic situation worldwide, our competitiveness. But also the system that we've established is very socialist in, in a way uh, due to the health care and uh, child care expenses being so high. And of course, people with uh, student loans. So I think that one of the major benefits for people in the future just because it's on the top of my head and I wanted to get it on video and let you guys have it so you can think about it uh, before I forget, is to make sure that you have a community of, um, of people that, you know, they love you, they support you, and uh, they want the best for you, and you guys want the best for each other because uh, some of the strongest, uh, um, some of the strongest people uh, will be people that are in strong communities. Uh, because the community makes people strong just like our country makes us strong well communities in the future will make you strong depending on on uh, what the resources and the, the skills that those communities can provide for you um so yeah so i don't know if this this whole socialistic system that we're building the way it's it's coming uh into fruition i don't know if this has been the plan the 2030 plan for the world gender or whatever it is uh, but it, it does seem to be taking that direction. If you just look at the statistics, you can see how 80% uh, or, or, or around that number of people are earning uh, for 30000 a year, 50%, a little bit above 50%, I'm not sure. But basically just enough to qualify for, um, 
you know, Medicare or Medicaid, um, things like that. If it's a family of two, of course, then you have to get private insurance, but you're probably both working and your child's probably already, your children are probably already older and can take care of themselves and are in the school system. But for younger people with young kids, it's very important that they have uh, health insurance. And I think that that is why uh, coming from a state from the California, I know that that is why a lot of people are motivated to just work a certain amount because then it's not worth it to go over that amount. Uh, you'd be end up having to buy your own insurance and it costs you more than the extra you're making. So a lot of people end up working at the table or again, doing what I'm telling you guys right now that is important, which is building a strong community where in a lot of situations you won't have to spend the money, just uh, your time and your effort to help out your community to, in exchange for what they do for you. Again, guys, I just wanted to bring a short vi video to uh, keep you guys informed with possible uh, ways for you guys to um, invest, to, to earn money or earn favors in the future. And of course, I, I really like Bitcoin and gold because that provides you stability as a form of insurance uh, while you can still earn dollars. But of course, um, working on your health and working on your community is uh, very important too, uh, almost more important than gold and Bitcoin if you haven't have one yet. If you don't have one yet, it really is more important. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of content and what I'm talking about, please like and subscribe, and I will upload another video as soon as I can. All right, guys, take it easy. Happy New Year.